Hello, good morning. It's very cold. So I'm actually shooting with the doors open to give me some natural light. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about my story. So it all started in fourth grade. I had these Star Wars Legos and like any other kid I had a huge imagination and I wanted to show these stories to my friends and family so I was conjuring up in my mind I had no idea how to do it. This was right around the time when YouTube first came out. I ended up teaching myself how to do stop motion animations with my parents camera. For me it's always been film, it's always been movie, it's always been story. Story that comes from film has always been what really inspires me. You know obviously as far as social media goes, video and film has it's grown it's grown into more than it used to be there's a whole lot of different things there's the whole term videographer I, I feel like that wasn't even a thing like 10 years ago ultimately for me it's it's story it's film that's what I want to do as of right now and as of the past few years I've been freelancing and I take whatever jobs I can get because whatever I'm doing with the camera I do I, I love anything that I can do with the camera because it definitely is my passion but ultimately I would love to be doing you know actual movies or TV series something that has a very concrete story personally I'm a cinematographer director of photography first AC anything behind the camera I found I, I you know I did I did directing for a while or I, or I directed a few short films and I found I can articulate a vision or a story much easier through a camera than an actual than through my actual words. Okay, so let's back up. So I started film in fourth grade when I started making stop motion animation videos with my Legos. Um, from then all the way up to the end of high school, I did videos online with my friends Cam and Aaron. We had a YouTube channel called ANC Productions. We do all these super cool short films. Well, we thought they were super cool at the time. And we would do like, we do lots of action stuff and lots of little just one-off videos. And through high school, towards the end of high school, I started to really try to focus myself into the narrative space, try to like make some short films. So I, I directed a few of my own short films. From the end of high school, I decided, okay, so what am I gonna do now? I, I had heard that film school, that film school was a very like, maybe you should go to film school, but probably not, it's kind of a waste of money. No, you definitely need to go. I was hearing a whole lot of different things from different people about film school. My parents really pushed me to go to school. They wanted me to go to school, so I decided I would try one year, and I decided I would go to school at Compass College of Cinematic Arts in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Michigan is where I'm originally from. Um, so I went to the school, and look, you know, I'm not here to dog on film school. For the year I was there, it was great. I was on set a bunch, and I met a, a lot of really cool people. There, there were very passionate people, and there were people that had been doing it for a long time there, but a lot of the people had just started, and they didn't take it seriously. It just, it didn't feel like an environment that I could really thrive and grow in. So what happened is my, my friend Blake, him, he lives in Arizona, he called me up and he said, hey, has, we had been talking and I, I told him like, look, I, I'm, really not, I'm really not feeling film school anymore. I just feel like it's a waste of time. And I don't know, I just wanna get out. I just wanna go do my own thing. I just wanna try freelancing. And he called me up one day and he's like, hey, I've got an opportunity out in Arizona, but we need, it's a, with a company I'm working at and we've got a position open it'd be a part-time position, but we would need you soon, like two weeks. Mind you, I live in, I live in Michigan. This is like, this is, this is like a 30 hour drive. It's completely across the country. But nonetheless, I had been thinking about the decision to leave film school for a while. So I decided, it was, luckily this was at the end of my first year. So luckily I was able to finish um, my first year there. Um, my parents were not too happy about it, but I knew they would be okay with it later when I showed them that what I'm doing, that I'm very serious about this, and me going to Arizona isn't me just trying to leave school and do whatever, it's me trying to work towards a goal of becoming a DP in the industry. So I left. Siri, take me to Phoenix, Arizona. Getting directions to Phoenix. I moved out to Arizona and I worked at that company for a while and you know I've done a ton of things in in Arizona here. I won't go into like too much detail about it all, 
but I freelance full time now. So I'm always doing different kind of jobs. Still really trying to work into that narrative space. That's ultimately what I want to do. But you know, anything with a camera I love because this is this is I don't know, this is my passion. So I've got a I've got a few different things going right now. I'm always working on my own projects or projects for clients. Um, but whatever it is, as long as it's film, I'm very happy doing it. Even though I'm learning every single day and I still have tons to learn, I'll never stop learning and growing, I think that um, giving the knowledge that I do know to people on YouTube as in the form of t tutorials and whatnot is super cool because that's a lot of how I learned, a lot of things I learned within the, within this space has been from YouTube over the years. And to give back is, I don't know, it's cool. I love it. I love getting feedback about like, oh, that was super cool. I never I never knew how to do this. I never knew how to light a scene. Thank you for putting up a video about how to light a scene. I don't know. It's just, I'm very content with what I do as far as film just because as long as I have a camera in my hand, I'm happy. I, I really want to inspire people through storytelling. You can make a super cool video that has like a lot of cool angles and a lot of cool whatever and that has absolutely no substance, no story, no context. Like I said earlier, where I came from with film, it, it all boils back down to movies and, 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 and story through movies because that's what, that's what really inspires me and that's what I want to embody through my work is story. And I want to embody story to inspire other people as I was inspired when I was younger. But yeah, currently I'm in Arizona freelancing and uh, it's great, I love it. I'm just, it's not its not always the easiest thing. Freelance is weird because you, you know, you could have a job next week, the whole next week, and then you might not have a job for the rest of the month. Um, it's, a, it's weird, but I love it because I'm able to do what I love. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later.